don't know if you don't go. Today we're fishing Hennepin County Lake, and with us is a special guest from New York, Miss Grace Shumway. Grace is a videographer's daughter, and she's a special fisher person. Say hi, Grace. Hi. Tell us about your fishing experience, Grace. I've been deep sea fishing for flounder, squid, and striped bass. I've gone fishing in a lot of lakes in Minnesota. A lot of freshwater fishing experience. You fish a lot with your dad? Yeah. Cool. What, uh, what grade are you going into? I'm a freshman into Kingston High School. Kingston High School. Is that in, say, Kingston, New York? Yeah. Neat. You looking forward to today? Yeah. So it'll be fun. You ready to go fishing? Absolutely. High five. <laughs> All right. Today's science comes in two parts. For the first part, we're going to fish bass. For the second part, we're going to fish some crappies. For the bass, I thought I'd let my associate pick the science and pick the presentation. For the crappies, I'm going to pick the science and the presentations. We're going to see how we do. Speaking of science, Grace is a little bit of a scientist, so why don't you tell us a little bit about your interests? What would you like to do with marine biology? Do you have an idea already? Um, not really. You just want to play around in the ocean and save the porpoises and stuff? Yeah. Cool. Well, I hope you make it. You'll have to let us know how you do. Hit the website. How your studies are going and stuff. So what kind of fish are you fishing for now, Randy, and what technique are you using? Well, we're uh, doing some sight fishing. Water is clear. and. Fishing the weed edges for, for the bass. Uh, the sunnies are very prolific, but uh, technique is a little bit different than what you do on most lakes. But uh, for bass fishing, you know, bass guys are always throwing something at them and they're always going shallow to get them. So we're just kind of mimicking that. But uh, the colors work on this lake because it's so clear and that lets you see what the bait is doing while you've got it in the water. And uh, pretty much you get to see every strike. So uh, we're having a little fun with that. Stay tuned. So Grace, are you having fun? Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good. How many fish have you caught? I've caught in one. Did you take him off the hook? No, I didn't. Why not? using a technique that's used by bass fishermen, especially in some of the tournaments. I'm going to put them in live well at the moment. Not a technique that's used here in Minnesota very often. Uh, the nice thing about it that I like is the lure is completely weedless. It's called a Senko lure. It's a very stiff worm. You catch fish normally by letting it just float down to the bottom. You catch them on the way down, not on the retrieve. And when you hook them up nicely with an offset hook, it looks completely buried and you can fish weed beds to your heart's content without being stuck on a weed. How much uh, water were you in when you got that one there, Lauren? That was about 10 feet of water. I was what? fishing on the, the deep side of the boat, not the shallow side of the boat. Uh, just letting it sink all the way down towards the bottom. Cool. Uh, any special retrieve or anything? No, I said it, it, they strike normally on the fall. You just let it fall down and the stiff worm shimmers and attracts the fish. And then if you don't have one, you bring it up and then let it fall again. All right, thanks, Lauren. Right. Let's see if we can catch those bass that we saw in there.
folks. Looks like we found the crappies. But at present, I think a pike or something has rolled in here and shut it down. But we're going to get some fish on film for you. Where the predators in the water? Isn't a nice crappie? Be able to get a knife on this guy. Little baby crappie. There's more to be had. <laughs> Just got through saying that the pike were in here, shut the zone off, turn the camera on. This guy hits. There's more to be had. If I try this big white monster a little bit? Yeah, go ahead. No, and the crappies? That's what I was asking. So yeah, I'll yeah. shut the crappies off. Yep. Yeah. Oh, this guy's got the hook. This is kind of an interesting thing. But using the same lures to get them interested in it. That's all Randy's saying is by using the other lure, it can scare the the crap is away. Oh yeah, you get a knife on that one. You want to show the live well? Show that you're catching a bunch of them? Yeah, you can do that. Sure. So when he gets ready to put it in, actually why does Randy bring his hand over? You know, open it up and you get the camera Just keep, keep your eyes through the lens and see what you're filming. I'll get that. Keep your eye on the lens and see what you're filming. Yeah, uh, I think there's a meal in there. <coughs> You've done pretty good. About 14. Well, you got to tell me you had a good day fishing. Oh. <laughs> Thank Randy for a good day fishing. Well, I've had a good day fishing. Did you catch anything? Yeah, I've caught in two bass and a crappie. Cool. Ow. And this is what you do at the end of a good day fishing, huh? Come on, baby, come on! Hey! <laughs> Easy with the old uh, shaggy dog bit there. <laughs> well, you have a good time, Lauren? It's a nice day fishing. You know, I think it's great to take your, your kids fishing. Uh, my daughters have taken fishing since they were young. They both love it. It's a great way for a parent to spend time with his kids. Teaching them about nature. Teaching them to enjoy themselves outdoors. And uh, maybe even bringing some food home for dinner like we did tonight. Yeah. <laughs> oh. We 
we looking for? I was wondering if it would be easier to go this way. To do what? To get up that way. Easier to get out, get up. Oh water. yeah, well that's yes. <laughs> but you came right there, so yeah, it's easier to step on the uh, the planer the planer bar of the of the motor. Step on that and just pull yourself up. It's usually what we do. So, well, I had fun. Did you have fun? Yeah. Yeah, Lauren. I had a great time. All right, cool. <laughs> for joining us. Be with us next time on You Don't Know If You Don't Go. Hello and welcome to You Don't Know. Recording that whole time. Okay, thank you. Today is Start. Hello and welcome to You Don't Know If You Don't Go. Today we're fishing in Hennepin County Lake and with us is a special guest from New York, Miss Grace Shumway. Grace is a videographer's daughter and she's visiting, and she's quite the fisher person. Say hi, Grace. Hi. Grace is also a... What do you get? Keep it going. Just let her go. Hello and welcome to You Don't Know If You Don't Go. <laughs> this is going to be some good out <laughs> Come back. Where are you going? <laughs> this is TV. you got to run about a million times. My glasses are fogging up, and I'm brain farting all over the place. <laughs> Hello and welcome to You Don't Know If You Don't Go. <laughs> I'm sorry, Grace, I apologize. <laughs> Hello and welcome to, I can't start like that. <laughs> and then you go. <laughs> Outtake Central. <laughs> Just put it on a tripod, Lord. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> shit.